Hello and welcome back to Cherry Hills 2007 map by Stevie um, Right, in this map uh, or in this map, in this video sorry, can't even get my head screwed on right um, uh, a lot of this is done in real time so it's not speeding up, it's not five times, it's one times um, purely because the fields you've got, like field one and field three Field 3 is huge, I didn't realise it was so big, um, this would be a good multiplayer map. Anyway, if you watched the last video, you know I've already got uh, the fence, has already started ploughing the big field, and now I'm going to get one of the cases with another one of the ploughs, which if I didn't say in the previous one, the plough is part of the Agricad pack which is by Steam Camp Modding. I'm hopefully I'm saying it right. Um, yeah, it's a good selection. Good selection of tools. I like these um, ploughs. Good for the normal tractors. Um, I don't know, I find it easier to plough myself with these because they're straight and not at an angle. I will get used to the other ones as they're more the stuff. These ones are designed on equipment you'd find in Africa if you read about the mod um, but they do for what I'm after at the moment so I'm getting a second one um, and because it feels quite large um, I'm going to run the two and see how it takes and I'll let you know so while they're doing that I'm going to do a bit of forestry um, I'm not going to talk all the way through it I'm going to put a bit of music over the top but basically I'm going to get a couple of loads and get this sawmill up and going to make some product and get me some money in so I'll leave you to have a watch while I start and we'll put a little bit of music in the background and we'll go from there Thank you. 
Right, I'm back. Um, as you see, I've started to clear some fields out, uh, uh, some trees out. I've skipped a few now, as you see, you know, just a jump cut there. Um, or it's just going to be all a, a video of me just taking trees down. People might like that. If you do, let me know. Next time I do forestry, we can do that. Um, but I'm just going to jump to the truck and um, load up the wood. Um, I've changed the trailer. It's the same trailer, but I've changed to a mod. Um, there's going to be a little bit of music in the background now. <coughs> but the mod is still the Flegel, um, but it's by oh, what's it, a Cryptic Runner Auto Loader by, um, I'm going to say this wrong there, Fasela and Lambo. I'll put all the details in the description. I'll put the details of the other mod in the description as well. Um, but it's an auto loader, so I, I'm I, I'm not doing it real, as in real, real life. I'm doing it as real as I want it. I don't want to make it easy and fun for me, and hopefully people won't be too upset if I do the odd little cheat as such. So that's the third load, first load. I'm gonna get those. Just gonna jump cut, pick up the second load, um, finish off feeding these, and then that'll be all the logging done. Um, so I'm gonna leave it to that, and I'll be back in a minute when we get onto the next job.
Okay, right, that is it all done. Uh, clean up the stumps because that allows more trees to grow. Um, so we're done with that. I've jumped a bit of time here. I've picked up another load of straw off uh, the first field. Um, I'm going to put this into storage. Just still trying to clear. Oh, excuse me, the first field of all the straw. I don't want it to go to waste. If I put it in storage, then I've got it for the composter or whatever else I'm going to need straw for. Um, I'm going to need it for the cows, for the bedding. So it's there. I've got... It, it's, it's good to have a, a store of it. I think um, I'm going to have a, quite a bit when I'm done off that field. Even though it was only a small field, and I don't even think it was fertilised or anything like that. It was sort of minimum... Minimum... Um, productivity doing well um, so we're doing those so that's I'm in between other stuff I'm getting loads of that so now I'm going to jump down to the BGA I've now got some biodiesel in my trailer not a lot but I've got enough now to run up to the composter let's get that going let's get some compost going um, and then I've got that for the greenhouses and whatever else I'm going to need compost for to start with. This is only a little bit. I will get another load in there, but I'm just trying to get them going so they start and then I can move on to something else. Or it's just going to be, wait for it to be a full load, move that, put it in, you've got to wait for it to process. If I can get, like I've got there, I've got about a quarter of a load or just under a quarter of a load. I can chuck it in there, it can start getting me some compost. Then I can move on to another job while it's doing that. And the bio plant will still be producing the compost. Oh, oh just sorry, the biodiesel for me to then use for the composter, the soy milk plant, uh, and whatever else is going to require diesel. The vehicles, I'm going to need diesel for the vehicles, so I just need to get some going. So, anyway. I'm going to get a little bit in here because um, basically that's full of product ready to be converted. Um, just to let you know, you've got to come onto this from the side as I am here. I tried to back on the other way and it doesn't seem to want to connect. So anyway, that's that done. Um, when this is finished... notes here, I want to make sure I get it right don't want to give you to the re-information in the wrong place um, yeah, done on that, diesel to composter uh, right, you'll see I'm going to park up here, but I carried on playing this during the night it's 7.52 and as you know I started ploughing the field at 5.25 in the day, I run through the whole night, I put the second plough on at 6.30 and I finished ploughing at 3.22 in the morning. It's now 4.32, so I've skipped to the next day. And I had that running at one times, so that is, I've got it here, 10 hours of ploughing with basically two five metre ploughs. So that's a big old field. You need the biggest plough you've got, if not two of them, um, to really get that done in a short pace of time. If I'd had that on five times, I'd have never got it done in the day. So um, I won't be ploughing that field um, until I've got the big ploughs, and I mean like the 13 metre plough. Um, that's done. That was a. Uh, a <laughs> I didn't think it was going to take that long. I know it was a big field, and that's the biggest one the game so yeah um, we're now going to seed it with um, the seed I've got here which is quite a large seeder and we're going to seed it with um, soybean for the soy milk factory and storage and selling um, during the night though while I was ploughing um, I bought eight cows and because I realised I need manure for the greenhouses as well. Um, I've, all I've given them is water and the straw. 
because water is free and I've got the trailer ready and we've got straw in storage so I gave that to him I've not given him anything else because I want to show you that when I do it um, I don't want to do too much off camera but so you know I'm not just spawning stuff in but um, yeah I, I decided it was worth buying eight cows during the night while I had all this going because they're, they're going to be very low well they're on very low productivity as you can see there because literally all they've got is straw as bedding and water got no mixed wrestling no silage no grass um, so we need to look at getting some mowing done because we need the grass to feed them we need the grass to make the silage and we need the grass to make the top mixed ration so um, yeah so we've got that and we've got the straw for the uh, TMR the only other thing we'll need well actually is the grass so we'll have the grass we're going to make the silage which will go with the grass and with the straw so we'll have once we've mowed we'll have all the elements to make TMR so um, we're going to crack on get this filled so the soybean it's probably going to take a long time um, I may get the other one with the other cedar going but we'll see how we go with this one because I want to see if I can get the other field clear of straw because it's still got quite a lot of straw on it um, but I've been doing loads throughout the night when I've got and I've done no more than two workers at a time so I've had two workers on the field ploughing while I was clearing the other field of straw it's not completely done I don't think I think I need did I completely clear it or not I can't remember now um, Yeah, I did. I did clear it. Sorry, um, that that got cleared. So that is ready to set. Well, not seed. It needs ploughing, and it needs um, and cultivating. So we're getting uh, field one here. We get this going. Get this seeding. Um, probably going to run this round. Do a headland, and then we we'll go up and down. Um, so anyway. I'll leave that to that and now we'll jump across to the fence and we're going to grab a plough and we're going to start ploughing field one I think if I remember rightly I'll find out in a minute when we come around here uh, no we're going to get ready for the mowing um, I don't think we're going to get it all done today well, well we're not going to get all done today no we're not um, I ended up cutting this one a bit short there was a lot a lot done but I've skipped quite a lot or jump cut especially like all through the night I'm trying to uh, get myself so we're good to go so anyway this is going to go off we're going to get this in field 9 I think and I'm going to run around the edge or whatever and then we'll call it in, I think for this one um, yeah, once once we've got this going, I'm going to uh, probably end this video and then we'll leave the mowing for the next video. But on the next one, I have got a list of things we need to do. We need to get wood for the other pallet factory and the cardboard factory. We need to get some wood and wood chips for them, so I need to get some wood for that one over there because I need the cartons and I need the pallets for the greenhouses to make the fruit that then that goes off to the other factory. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a mix. I'm going to do some animals and I'm going to do some field work, but I'm going to try and get some factories going because the factories will pull in money, um, which will make it easier for us to then be able to buy the big equipment and start um, processing the big food more efficiently. Uh, 10 hours of ploughing isn't very efficient um, and it gets very boring, especially for me. And you won't want to see 10 hours of ploughing. So, yeah, we're I didn't realise the fields were so big on this on this map. I, I like Steam's maps; they're really good. Uh, but this is definitely a multiplayer map. Um, 
but hey, I'm, I'm happy to play it. Um, I still can do. There is another small, small field like this one, or like field one. I think it's field seven, right up on the top corner, um, up, up the top end of the, the town. Um, but it's a long way. It's a long way away. There doesn't seem to be uh, jobs on the field. There is. You can buy them, but you can't do jobs. So you can't lower the price. So um, and I've got to decide whether once it is mowed and I've, I've picked one, whether we're going to fertilise this and it might make it more productive. Because what we might do is once we've got the cows sorted. Uh, for TMR and grass, um, I might leave some in a storage somewhere in case we buy sheep, because um, that's easy enough. They want water and they want grass. Once we've got them that, I can basically just leave them, let them kick out the wall, um, and get more sheep. Uh, just keep topping them up with grass and water. It's reasonably easy. Uh, that's good money coming in. Um, for nothing really and we can then go off and sell that at the spinnery um, or there is a wall sales as well so we'll finish off doing this one run round here it's, uh, it's slightly bigger than I thought as well this field 9 is it 9? it's not nine. might be field 19 or not 9 I'm getting it wrong aren't I? It's field 19, you can see there from my own. I think it's 19. Ah, it's the grass field next to the sheep compound. <laughs> but yeah, that's slightly bigger than thought, so that's going to hopefully be a couple of loads of uh, grass, which will be enough to make a fair bit of silage and um, TMR and be able to feed the cows and hopefully have a bit, I'll say, left over just in case we decide to get some sheep. Uh, but we'll we'll wait and see. Um, I know that on the next one we need to look at starting to get some more wood for the other the other mills. So anyway, um, I think that's about it. I'm probably just going to run back up and back, run back down. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in number four and uh, hopefully we'll make a little bit more progress. So till then, goodbye.